One of the, the questions I always ask couples is tell me about your wedding day. How was your wedding day leading up to the wedding day? You'd be surprised. Oh my God, your back is all oh, wet. Just get it off, just, just rip, just rip it off. The male will say, well, I was in the back of the church on my cell phone talking to my buddy because, you know, I was not sure if this is what I wanted to do. Or the female will say, well, there was something in me saying I shouldn't be doing this, I shouldn't do this, but everybody's here so I might as well go through with it. Asking a couple, tell me about your wedding day, gives me so much information about the course of that marriage. I remember he was driving around, right, and he was thinking, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And what's interesting as a therapist watching this is that he had tried to talk to her many times before then and say, I'm really not comfortable with a big wedding. I don't want there to be a spread in this magazine about us. I've you know, already failed at this twice. And she sort of plowed on um, with her own plan for the wedding. When he reached her on the phone, he was so calm and his eyes were really open. He wasn't agitated and moving around. It was almost like he, he was talking to her like with a directness that she'd always wanted from him. He's just doing it under terrible conditions with a terrible message. I've been calling you for an hour. Why haven't you been answering your phone? Because I don't know where my phone is. <sighs> so what's going on? Where are you? I was out front. I just left. I can't do this. But he says, you know, I just couldn't go through with it. And I'm thinking, there's the implication, he's, he's had two failed marriages already, so the stakes are high for him in a different way from her. And I think that's really real. I can't go in without you. Baby, this whole bride and groom thing is uh, really got me thrown. There's the final, like, scene where Carrie's hitting him with the roses. Carrie, I freaked out for a minute, but I'm ready now. I knew you would do this! I knew it! Carrie, I'm sorry. I am humiliated! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Carrie. And then Charlotte comes and rescues her and pulls her away. And Dick says, wait, wait, Carrie. And Charlotte scowls at her and says, no! Come on! Carrie, wait, I'm sorry. Carrie, no! wait. No! No! in the car. And I thought, wow. The women are totally ready to make this all about him, you know? I mean, yeah. It sucks. And if I was in her place, I would want to kill him too. But... Again, it's not that surprising. It's not just that he has issues with tolerating in intimacy, but he probably, even though he doesn't show this because he's such a stoic, man's man kind of a guy, he probably feels really guilty and ashamed and like a failure about his last two marriages. And he does not want to repeat that experience. He doesn't want to feel that bad about himself again, especially if, it's, if as I am speculating, carries even more of a sort of soulmate to him than his previous wives were.